Joining us first tonight, it could be the beginning of the end for the homeless camp of Hiawatha in Minneapolis. Today is the first day that people from that camp could move into the city's new navigation center. Danny Spiewak's in the newsroom to show us how this could lead to long-term housing solutions. Danny? Julie and Randy, 10 people moved into that center this afternoon and many others could follow over the next several days. Today we sat down with one of the first people to enter this temporary shelter. I'm not from here. I've never experienced a winter like this. This woman doesn't want her face shown, but she told us she's been living at the homeless camp for two and a half months now, scared every night that another fire will break out. Last night, somebody threw a propane tank into the fire pit and it exploded. And for me to be experiencing a winter like this, let alone living in a tent, is crazy. But now she's trading in her tent for a bed. She's one of the first 10 people to move across the street to this navigation center, which has more than 100 beds available under large heated tents. The temporary shelter offers meals, addiction treatment, and health care. Warmth, showers, safety. There are still about 90 people left at the homeless camp, but they'll be able to move into the shelter over the next several days if they want. I've had four people today ask me how do they sign up. Inside the hygiene tent near the camp. Thank you. Marin Hardy of the American Indian Community Development Corporation says most people seem eager to move out. Everyone's really excited. Energy is high down here. But she acknowledges not everyone will want to move into the navigation center. I know personally somebody that is scared that they don't want to go. That could include people with serious addiction problems. And they're the ones who probably will stay outside or continue to couch hop or hopefully find treatment. The people who do move to the navigation center will be able to work with nonprofits to find long term housing. And it's the start. It's a stepping stone to permanent housing. So my goal is to get a place to live and continue to help the people here that I know and have grown to make a family with. This navigation center is located on property owned by the Red Lake Nation. This shelter will stay open until May. And then after that, the Red Lake Nation plans to replace the navigation center with an affordable housing project, which speaks to the long-term goals that they have there at that shelter. Back to you. Thank you, Danny.